everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out the HP LaserJet M402N today. This is a low-cost, under $200 laser printer, uh, but it delivers really mid-range performance, about 40 pages per minute in output speed, so I'm very uh, pleased with its performance for its price. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, this came in through the Amazon Vine program uh, for me, free of charge. Uh, however, I have had no direct contact with HP or Amazon, for that matter. Uh, all their opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is reviewing this video before it is posted and nobody is paying for what you're about to see here either. So this is completely my opinion. So let's take a look at the hardware here. You've got a manual paper feed, which is actually a nice thing to see on a, a low end printer, at least a low end priced printer. Uh, it's got a, a hundred sheet capacity here. Although if you put envelopes or cards or other thicker stuff in there, it might be a little bit less than that. And there is a back door for the paper feed on the back of the printer. So if you are concerned about larger paper getting stuck as it tries to curve around to the uh, paper output area, you can just open up that door and have the paper feed straight through from the manual feed. Uh, down here, you've got a 250 sheet capacity paper tray. You can get an optional 550 sheet tray that'll hold a full ream of paper. Uh, this one will hold about half. About 150 pages will fit in the output bin though, so you definitely want to be careful about that. Uh, there's also a really nice control panel on the top here. You get the IP address displayed at all times, which is very helpful because they have a web-based control panel that we'll be looking at here uh, in a few minutes to see how to configure the printer. So that is a, a really helpful thing to have there. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the hardware. This does not duplex. Uh, so if you want to print on both sides of a paper, you have to buy the more expensive DN version of this printer. It also doesn't have Wi-Fi. You have to connect it up uh, with your network with an ethernet cable. But once it's on your network, any uh, wireless devices that are also on your network, like your phone, uh, will be able to see it. And speaking of phones, we have a document up on my phone right now. So I'm going to go and print from my phone. And what's nice is that uh, it works with the Apple AirPrint protocol. It's also compatible with Google Cloud Print, so both your Android devices and your iOS devices are covered. Uh, my phone found it on my network here automatically. I'm just going to click on print here, and that document should start uh, spitting out of our printer momentarily, so you get a feel for uh, how fast it is. So it does make a little bit of noise, as most laser printers do, uh, but you can see it comes up pretty quickly here, and you can also get a sense as to the uh, print speed. Uh, print quality is very nice on this. Um, you know, certainly photographs will suffer a little bit because this is not a color printer, but uh, text is very, very short. I was actually very impressed with how sharp the text does look. I believe this is a 1200 DPI printer. This is a purposely left blank uh, table that I did. It does get a little um, uh, weird on some of the shaded stuff, but again, this is a color document that I am uh, printing in black and white, but I am definitely more impressed with its text output uh, than I am with its photo quality. And the best way to configure the printer is through its web-based control panel. You can find its IP address on its physical control panel on the front. You just type that into your web browser and you'll be brought to this page. Uh, the most relevant stuff for I think most people is in the networking section and this is where you can set up the air print for printing to Apple devices as well as set up the Google Cloud print settings as well for uh, printing over the uh, web from a Chromebook or an Android device and I did a video on Google Cloud print actually two of them so I'll link to those above so you can get a feel for exactly how the Google Cloud print works uh, for Mac and Windows PCs the printer will just show up on your network so once you plug it into your network it should be all set to go and you will find the printer hopefully without any issues automatically you can also attach it to your computer via usb as well all right so let's take a minute and talk about toner and uh, what you get with the 183 dollars version of the printer is the intro toner cartridge and uh, the only difference between the intro toner cartridge and the regular one is that the intro has less toner in it it actually looks the same uh, this, they just put less toner inside of it so you only get about uh, 1500 pages on this intro cartridge you can buy the printer with the non-intro cartridge and get 3000 pages initially uh, that will run you about 289 dollars so definitely a price premium depending on how many pages you want to print initially. Uh, the replacement cartridges are about $106 for the 3,000-page uh, version. They also have a larger cartridge with a 9,000-page capacity for about $178. So uh, there is a definite cost of ownership here, uh, which is always the case with these laser printers. However, um, they are less expensive on a page-by-page -page basis compared to an inkjet printer. Uh, but again, you're printing in black and white here and not in color. So you have to really kind of look at the kind of printing you do 
and then see where you want to end up. I have found though that over time, especially with HP laser printers, uh, they last a really long time. And part of the reason is that a lot of the imaging functions of the printer are on the cartridge also. So the drum uh, that is used to uh, put the image on paper is actually in the cartridge. So when you replace the cartridge, you're replacing the uh, imaging unit as well. So these do tend to last a long time. And that's why uh, when you change cartridges, sometimes your image quality improves also, uh, because again, that drum is on the cartridge itself, which also lends to why these cartridges cost so much too. So that is the, uh, the new HP LaserJet Pro M402 and a really good value, a really nice laser printer for the price. And you just need to figure out where you want to go on the toner scale. They do have versions of this printer again with duplexing available. And there's also one available for a little bit more money as well uh, with duplexing as well as Wi-Fi. So if those things are important to you, uh, you can definitely look at other printers in this product line. But the entry level printer here, I think for a lot of people is going to be pretty adequate. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.